Hey guys, 95 Pop Snaps here and today is very different to how I expected it to go. I'll tell you a bit more about it in a couple of seconds. Let's do this. Alrighty guys, so yeah, as I said, this video is going to be very, very different to how I planned it to be and expected it to be. So, pop culture. This is not coming across as I'm disappointed because I lost. This is coming across as I'm disappointed that I didn't get to share the experience with you guys. And I didn't want to fake this, I didn't want to pretend or anything like that, but right here, opened obviously, is the Pop Culture Mystery Box uh, that they dropped with the chance to get the Freddy Funkos. I did not expect it to come in the shape of a box, for one. That's how it came. That's how it is, that's fine. But to be honest, I have a lot of parcels coming from pop culture. I had about three things saying they were coming that week. And I also assumed that like other pop culture mystery boxes, you get an external box and then inside is a smaller box that's packaged and has a label that says the mystery box. Instead, I got this parcel and thought, okay, this definitely isn't the mystery box size. It's, it's much bigger. I opened it up and on the inside, I saw my picking slip, six pops, which I thought was a bit weird and a soda in there. So I was like, oh, okay, sure. So I opened it up, checked the soda. I'm like, oh, yay, awesome. We got the soda that I've ordered and the rest might be my SDCC pops. But they weren't. They were pops from SDCC that I hadn't ordered. And I immediately thought, oh, no, they've sent me the wrong pops. So I've opened up the picking slip and it said Freddy Funko Mystery Box. So I've received them not in another box that's labelled Mystery Box, just inside of this box with a loose soda that was in there that I've taken out. Um, so, I know what I got in here. I can't share the mystery with you guys in that I'm getting surprised by what I pulled. Um, it's obvious I didn't get the Freddy, which is fine. Like, the chances of getting one was crazy anyway. But I'm just shattered I didn't get to share the proper experience with you guys. And it is a bit disappointing to not see Pop Culture sending out sealed boxes. Because honestly, if they had sealed boxes, it seems pretty unfair for them to open it up and repackage it. Um, I think it's just, it's just a bit weird. But it is what it is. And I'm not going to do anything about it. It's just the way it is. The other thing that really bothered me is that I have received mystery boxes with other items before. And they have come packaged where you get the sealed box and then the rest of the items are on the side or they've held onto that extra item and sent it with my next package which they could have done because I had three parcels come that week from pop culture so that one soda really could have waited for another order but like I said there is no point going on about it I just wanted to explain it to you guys so you know why this wasn't a typical mystery box opening but look I am pretty happy with the pops I did get there are a couple in here that I didn't pick up from the convention that will probably stay in my collection now this first one here is not one I'll be keeping but it is from Boruto and it's Chocho I haven't watched Boruto so I haven't you know got much knowledge about this character but it looks pretty cool it's come in good condition um surely i'll be able to find a good home for it i imagine that this one was relatively popular with boruto and naruto fans because this character i don't think they've made before so it is pretty cool to see but not something for me the next one here is definitely something i'm i'll be keeping it was one i was on the fence about grabbing so it's pretty cool that i got it in this box and it is the scarlet scarab from moon knight so i have gotten a couple of moon knight pops on the way so this will go nicely in that collection. I've already shown off the Konshu, which is my favorite from the line. But very cool to have this character at least. And um, I guess thank you Pop Culture for forcing me to have it in my collection. Because it is one that I would have considered um, keeping if I ever pulled it like this. So that's pretty cool. The next one I got is another cool looking pop. It is the Purge Trooper. It looks really badass. Jen and I haven't watched Obi-Wan Kenobi yet. So I might end up being really happy with this pull. And it is a really cool looking pop. And I definitely could have gotten worse from this mystery box. So that's a cool one. Now this one is definitely one I'll be keeping. It's one I didn't get because I have so many pops of this character. But I'm going to cop it. We got the He-Man. So this is pretty sick. He-Man pops, I try to only get one of each character unless the variant is really, really cool. So this is why I didn't pick up this one initially. But I'm not going to complain having it in the collection now. This next one is one I already bought and is on the way from Pops Galore. So this will be a double and it is the Grand Torino from My Hero Academia. A great character and one I'm super glad they did. I love the pose and I love that he's on that little stand there. It looks really, really cool and I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. Um, so I'm not going to complain having a second one, but <laughs> I didn't really need it because I've already ordered one from Pops Galore. So 
Gran Torino is the fifth one that we got in the box. And I think this last one here is probably my favorite. Again, it's another Marvel one that I was thinking about picking up, but never did. It is He Who Remains. Very funny character from Loki. So look, I'm definitely going to cop the, having this one in the collection. This was one I was just like, it's not a character I really need, so I won't pick it up. But to have it this way is perfect because now I'm very, very happy to have it in the collection. He was a really funny character and I very, very much enjoyed him in the series. And I feel like there's going to be more of him to come. So look, I was pretty happy with these pops that I did get. I'm just really disappointed. I don't have it in me to pretend and make up videos, so I was never going to reseal it and pretend. Um, but yeah, it is a bit disappointing I didn't get to do the exciting, I guess, we're both finding out what I got type of thing. So yeah, that's that. That is what I got. I have been thinking about buying another one, but unfortunately I've already seen two out of six of the Freddy's pulled. So I'm not liking my chances there. And I just have too much fear that they're gonna do this again. Cause I order so much from pop culture. I have things coming all the time and pre-orders coming into stock all the time that I feel like they might just do this again. And for me, I, I don't wanna play that game. <laughs> I would want a sealed box that's been sealed by them and untampered with and unmoved to another parcel which was what was done here. And look, that's fine. They're saving on shipping, which is fair enough. I did purchase the soda with this order, and I believe I might even have pre-ordered another one, which I completely get them merging it. But I've, like I said, I've ordered from them before where they have put in a sealed box into the order and then put the soda on the side, which I feel like they could have done for this order. But anyway, that's it. That's that. This is what I got. Definitely keeping He Who Remains, Scarlet Scarab. He-Man and holding on to Purge Trooper for the meantime until we watch Obi-Wan. And yeah, Gran Torino is a double and I haven't really watched any of Boruto so I can't comment on that character. But guys, let me know which one of these pops is your favourite and which one you would have been most happy to receive in a mystery box like this. And if I haven't said already, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this one. I really, really appreciate it. Be sure to go check out Collector Pop 27's video of their unboxing because they got something really cool. And remember, as always, like Dragon says, never give up and good pops will find you. See ya.